Today we are going to start our last chapter, which, which is the Egyptian budget. And actually this chapter is about the Egyptian state budget, or Actually that part is related specifically to Egypt, and actually all the data inside that chapter have been extracted out of the annual circular, budget circular of the state. Annual circular of the the circular of the uh, state budget, including all the details about the budget. First of all, it starts by defining what do you mean by budget? What do you mean by budget? So actually here we are saying that the budget is a financial document, financial document, because actually we are talking about numbers, include all government revenues and expenditures. Did you notice an Egyptian circular our budget circular using the term expenditure. We said that the term expenditure is only used in the governmental account. During the next fiscal year, and reflect the main guidance of the public policy for the government. And in Egypt, we are preparing the budget according to law number 53 for the year 73, and it has been amended by the law 87, Okay, for the year of 2005. Yani, actually, we are preparing the budget according to the governmental law. Governmental law. Okay, deal, the budget will deal with expectation in the future for the next year. And in Egypt, it is prepared according to the law number 53, amended by law number uh, 8 for the year. Uh, 87 for the year 2005. The budget in general knows known as an estimate of the future revenue expenses during the coming period time, usually a year type. Actually, a physical year for the Egyptian government is starting from the 1st of July, 1st of July, and the ending, okay, on the end of June, yani starting 1st of uh, 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 July and ending at 30th of June. In the light of the government effort to strike balance between revenue and expenditure without asking for loan, both lenders, whether internal inside Egypt, I'm talking here about the inside debt, known as loans or internal debt, or from lenders outside Egypt, the foreign, which are known as debt or foreign loans. The preparation of the state general budget is a top of the development priority reform agenda, which means whenever we are talking, the budget is the tool of the government to achieve the reform plan of the government. Yani whenever I would like to make an economic reform, the budget is the first tool to be used. Okay. The government budget. The budget expressed the objectives and aspirations of the government in power. And government really has no money of its own. All of these resources are owned by the citizens, as we said before. All of these resources are owned by the citizens. And actually, the government is like the management, because actually they are using this money in order to make plans, okay, in order to enhance, okay all the services to be provided to the public and to make new projects that can help in improving the economy of the of the country this is why we are saying in the budget the government is outlining it's a plan for spending money how we are going to spend the money explaining how it is going to spend money that belong to the public no government in the world has infinite public resources at its disposal at the same time there is a boundless array of needs to be met through the public expenditure no country all over the world even usa has unlimited resources actually most of these countries have deficit as we just explained now the budget incorporate trade-off between different spending Priorities and include value judgment about which service and whose interests are most important. And the budget is clearly a political and a constable document, which means we have to have in our minds that 
the government is trying to do our, their best in order to خلاص, enhance the society, enhance the economy, providing the services that, that has the uh, ultimate priority for uh, the society. So actually, the budget will represent the action plan for the government to do its operation or... Actually here, we are defining, and actually we, we explained that before. This is the accounting base in recording the transaction, how the government is recording transaction. Now we explained before that we have two main bases, the cash bases and the accrual base. These are the two main bases, okay, for recording transaction. In the cash bases, when all through which the transaction is recorded, when paid or received in cash, any transaction that will be recorded, it must be paid or received in cash. Type. What about the accrual? Economic transaction and flow are recorded at the time of creating the economic value or converted or replaced or moved not only recording cash flow as we said before in the accrual we are recording the transaction based on the occurrence of the transaction not based on receiving or paying cash this is why in financial accounting we are using accrual base because it, it gives more disclosure for information in government actually we have a variation as you can see in that slide and actually that variation we have uh, uh, explained in chapter uh, two when we talked about the three categories okay of a of the fund account okay type the first one was the revised accrual base differ from the accrual base in the record time of purchase of physical asset yani it is the same as the accrual except for the purchase of physical asset what are physical assets any Assets that can be used by the government. Okay, and we have revised cash, and it is different from the accounting according to cash basis in recording revenue expenses committed in the budget year and allow a specific period of time after the end of the year for recording the payment and contingencies receivable. Yani actually, in the revised cash, it is cash basis except for recording revenues and expenses committed in the budget year, يعني committed for a specific use, okay? And in some cases, it allows specific period of time after the end of the year for recording payment and contingency liability, which means it gives the chance to record revenue and expenses to happen after the end of the budget A period. Yeah, but actually, those are the four bases that we are using during the preparation of the general uh, budget. Let's move on for the general principle of budget preparation. In Egypt, we have a group of principles to be used in order to prepare the budget. And those bases or those principles must be taken into consideration. Whenever we are stating a medium term frame, okay, which is from three to five years, or from three to five years, Yani we are actually okay preparing the budget based on, the, on those principles whenever we are preparing medium term frame uh, period like from three to five year but actually here in egypt we are trying to make it more accurate by preparing the budget خلاص, on an annual base on annual base so actually here if you can see the first principle is the annual budget annual budget so annual budget we are trying to make the budget more accurate by preparing it for one year ahead only one year ahead yani in order to handle the resources in more uh, manageable way and to make some more accurate estimates we are preparing our budget on an annual basis so the first principle of re of preparing the budget is the annual budget means we are preparing the budget on annual basis in order to make the estimates within that budget more accurate and more manageable by the عندي هو annual a annual budget وقلنا ان ال annual budget معناه ان احنا we are preparing the budget on annual basis on annual basis okay type
The second bad principle, which is the inclusion budget. The inclusion budget. What inclusion of budget means? Means in the budget must include all public revenue and expenditure of the state during the fiscal year with full transparency. Yani no transactions should be excluded out of the budget. Unless we have some law inclusions or clauses خلاص or instruction in the law to exclude this type of transaction. Like in general, all the revenues and expenditure of the government should be included in the budget. Nothing to be excluded. Okay, type. In some cases, we have also to include all the revenue and expenditure separately, which means we cannot include any amount in the budget as net. Yani if we have revenue and its related expenses, we have to record the revenue in a separate account and then we have to record the expenditure in a separate account and then it's to be deducted inside the budget, not to be included in the budget on a net aid. We are not going to record it on a net basis. The third is the prevalence of the budget. Prevalence of the budget. What is the privilege of the, the prevalence of the budget? Accordance with the principle of prevalence of the budget as one of the basic principles of the public budget is not to allocate certain revenue for specific expenses. The budget is the vehicle in which all public resources to cope with different process of public spending. Again, we are going to accumulate all the revenues all the expenditures but actually we cannot say that because one of the entities are collecting more revenue they are entitled to more expenditure no we have one central account for the government that all the revenue will be accumulated at and then the responsible ministry will start allocating this revenue based on the priorities based on the needs okay so here we are not making privilege for specific entities over uh, others. The fourth is the unity of the budget. The unity of the budget type. What do we mean by unity of the budget? We refer to all revenue and expenses to be included in single instrument of the single document, which not allow existence of any form for some of the revenue or expenditure outside the budget. Yani actually, we are talking here that all the revenues and expenditures of the main central government will be included here. Type. What about, for example, a proprietary fund? If you remember, a proprietary fund is a fund that accounts for the transaction to be made by uh, a governmental entity that are seeking for profit. Are we going to include that in this budget? No, it will not be included because actually here, we are talking about the revenue and expenditure of the central government, not of the other governmental funds, types of funds. So actually here, we are not allowing any form of revenue or expenditure to be outside of the, of the budget. Okay. Number five is the balance of the budget, which is uses must equal resources. But actually, as we said before, this is not the case in the real life because actually, either we have a deficit or a surplus, okay? And the deficit will be covered through loans, so domestic or foreign, and forward the surplus if you have surplus to the next day, to the next year, or maybe you will have another deficit. So actually, this also will be. Uh, uh, satisfied during the current year and then you have to pay for that in the next years. So actually, up to that point, we covered five main principles. Five main principles. And now we are going to move to the stages of preparing the budget. The, sta the stages of preparing the budget. Let's go back for the mechanisms of preparing the state general budget. What are the preparing stages? What are the stages to be followed in order to prepare the budget? We have one, 
two, three, four. Those are the four stages for preparing the budget. Okay, those are the four stages for preparing the budget. I will start by number one. I will start by number one. Number one is talking about the preparation of the budget. Preparation of the budget. Type. What is the preparation of the budget? Preparation of the budget. Type. What are the main steps that the government follow in order to start preparing the budget? Start preparing the budget. First, we are sitting. This is the first inside the preparation stage. This is the first step inside the preparation stage. Setting the general policies and objectives. The state general budget sector add the Ministry of Finance prepare its proposal and recommendation, which should control that draft for the next fiscal year. And these proposal and recommendation are presented after notifying the technical committees according to current and projected economic condition and potential development that affect revenue and expenditure for the coming fiscal year. And such modification, may, which may be on taxes, wages, items that may require large extraordinary expense, such as payment of long-term debt, it must all to be taken into consideration in order to reach for the final theme of the budget policy that the Ministry of Finance, okay, خلاص, will use خلاص, in order to prepare a proposal to be presented for the cabinet. The cabinet is the Wazara. خلاص, for approval. And, and then this proposal and recommendation become general indicator that must be applied by, applied by the executive authority to prepare the budget. And first of all, in the general budget sector, خلاص, inside the Ministry of Finance, اللي هو ال, يقولوا عليه ال, ال, الموازنة, خلاص, أو قسم الموازنة اللي جوا وزارة المالية. The general budget sector inside the Ministry of Finance will prepare general policy. The general policy D will be taken into consideration to find out the general theme of the budget. As we said before, this year or the coming year, we are concentrating on education. So we have to keep in mind whenever we are allocating resources that the education will have the larger part. We are going to uh, emphasize on the health care. So a larger part of the resources must be allocated to and so on. And in the same time, I have to contact all the other departments inside the Ministry of Finance to know if there is any change in any proposed change on taxes. Yani for example, uh, 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 Ministry of Finance is planning to increase the tax rate next year from 22.5 to 25. So actually, we have to take that into consideration because this means that the government will have more resources type. The government is deciding that the wages will increase by 10%. Even I have to take into consideration that the wages will be increased by 10%. So actually we need, this will be more expenditure that will be in need for a finance from somewhere. Even actually, here we are setting the main theme of the... Then we have to, okay? Define what are the main strategies that we have to, uh, to take into consideration. Yani maybe my main theme for the next year to reduce the deficit budget, to encourage the local industries, to increase the welfare of members, to control the public expenditure, to reduce the effect of inflation, to develop the state self resources, to renew the prior. All of those can be act or can be taken as okay themes for the budget. Okay. Then we go for the second part, or the second step inside the preparation, which is the issuance of the budgeted circular. The budget circular, in the light of the general indicator approved by the cabinet, the Ministry of Finance publish each year a periodic circular informed to all ministries and public institutions 
a combined by set of necessary regulation for implementation of the budget policy. And we have to provide them with a special instruction how to complete these form and worksheets that must be used when preparing the budget. And then we have to determine what are the main deadlines of submission class to the Ministry of Finance. Yani actually here, after we determine the theme, we have to issue something like uh, instructions. This instruction to be called the budget circular includes all the forms that we have to fill in. By, by whom? By all the governmental entities. Because you have to bear in mind that whenever we are preparing the budget, we are talking about all the governmental entities all over the country. All over the country. So actually, all the governmental entities must be included in the process of preparing the budget. Type on what? On which basis? On the basis included or mentioned in the budget circular. If a budget circular will include a form is to be completed, our worksheet to be completed, and in the same time it will include the due dates for submission of that uh, information. But actually, after we issued the budget circular with all these uh, uh, instructions or details, we will go for the third step inside the preparation, which is the issuance of draft budget. Type. We collected the information. So the ministries initiate the process of preparing their budget before the start of the budget year by a period ranging between six to eight months. Yani all the ministries, all the governmental entities will start to prepare their uh, drafts for the budget from six to eight months before the start date of the budget, which is 1st of, of July, 1st of July. And actually here, all of these drafts will be sent back, as we said, to the Ministry of Finance in order to be uh, discussed. Uh, studied and whenever there is a modification or adjustments it must be made it must be made and then it must be sent again to the cabinet in order to inform the cabinet that those are the estimates that have been received from the governmental entities and then these entities must have or must have a e, uh, uh, specialized committee to prepare their draft budget according to the outcome of the actual result of implementation during the previous three years to be taken into consideration. Yani each of the governmental entity, whenever they are preparing their budget, uh, uh, their budget drafts, they have to take into consideration at least what happened during the three previous years. And we are going to take something like an average and this average must be taken as a guideline for preparing the next year A for the next year uh, budget. And after that, after the Central Committee in the Ministry of Finance receives the estimates of subcommittees, it is study, evaluate, coordinate, and then to set up a budget according to the level of ministry or institution, and then submit it to the Ministry of Finance. And it is worth mentioning here that the Ministry of Finance also prepared its own budget like any other executive. Yep. And different ministries, different governmental entities, they are going to prepare their uh, budgets, drafts, of course, and then to send it to the Ministry of, a, of Finance. And the Ministry of Finance, by the way, are preparing their own budget to be included within the state budget. I think we are going to stop here and we are going to complete in the next class, inshallah.